So today, I'm gonna to tell you the three things that you shouldn't do that's gonna push you further away from your goal. But then of course, I'm gonna tell you what you should do. Well, first, let's start with the things that you should do. Number one is that you should make your membership a non-negotiable, make your workouts a non-negotiable. Number two, just set basic goals for now. And then number three, tell yourself that this is for you. Now onto the three things that you shouldn't do that are gonna push you further away from your goals. Well, number one is putting your membership on hold. Anytime that you put your membership on hold, it's like putting your life on hold. I remember back when everything was going on and the banks were offering to put your mortgages on hold and I was like, wow, that sounds amazing. So I called the bank and I'm like, hey, I hear that we're able to put our mortgages on hold due to these crazy times. And they said, yes, we can absolutely do that for you. What we would do is we're going to pause the principal. So principal is what you're paying towards your house, but the interest continues to roll. And I'm like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Why would I not wanna put any money towards the house, but still be paying interest? That's gonna put me further and further away from actually owning my home. The same happens with your goals. When you put your membership on hold, and if you're not already a super fitness enthusiast, meaning that you're not already getting over 10,000 steps a day, that you're not working out at least five to six days a week with resistance training where you're actually building and maintaining your muscle, or you're playing some type of high intensity sport, whether it be pickleball for two hours, tennis for two hours, or you're going for all out sprints or runs for like six or seven miles, then putting your membership on hold is going to push you further and further away from your goal because that time off is not great time off. Right? If you're so busy that you can't make the gym, you need to find a way to make it work because things are getting worse, you're getting older, we're all getting older, and as we know, as we age, things don't like to perk up and get tighter. They like to get soft and head south. So my number one recommendation for you is to not put your membership on hold. Number two, and this is one of my biggest fears, is that you become complacent. It's like allowing a couple gray hairs or allowing yourself to miss the gym and allowing yourself to take a month off because you're just like, nah, you know what? I don't really wanna to go today. I'm too tired. Oh, I had such a busy week or, oh, it's been such a stressful month. Maybe I'll go back, maybe I won't. That's the time when things get scary because now you've went from having a little bit of fear or maybe a little bit of guilt or maybe that those things were the things that were motivating you to get going because not every day is gonna be a perfect day and not every day you're gonna feel like working out, but at least after you do your workout, you're gonna feel 100 times better. I've never walked into a workout, and I bet neither have you, and you've walked into a workout specifically at Fit Club and then you left and you're like, oh, I wish I would have spent more time on my phone checking on social media or I wish I would have spent more time at work or I wish I would have slept in just 30 minutes more. Like you leave the gym and you feel absolutely amazing. So even those little things that used to keep you motivated, whether it was like feeling a little chubby on the waistline or your pants not fitting, as soon as you stop caring, you become complacent. And once you get to that lowest level of like motivation, it's gonna be so hard to get back on. So even if you feel like maybe you're being a little bit too hard on yourself, maybe that's the little bit of push that you need to keep yourself moving forward and pushing you closer and closer to actually living a fit life, never mind a goal living a long-term fit life. And number three is allowing your life to take over. Because we gotta understand that there's 16 potential hours for us to work out. That's if you're sleeping eight hours. And from what I see, most people barely get five. So if you've got actually 16 hours where maybe you're driving to work, getting the kids ready, preparing meals, doing grocery shopping, taking care of your laundry, et cetera, et cetera, that still gives you at plenty of time to do a 30 minute workout. So don't allow your life to take over your routine. Base your life around your fitness routine. So if that means that you gotta shut the TV off, shut your phone off at 10 p.m. so that you just lay there and you pass out at 10.30 so that you can actually get up at 4.30 or 5.30 in the morning to make a workout. These are the things that you're gonna have to sacrifice in order for you to wanna live that fit life. Now the positives. <laughs> so what should you do? Number one is that you need to make it a non-negotiable. So like I said, you need to start making sacrifices and compromises just like you would in anything that's worthwhile to make fitness a part of your daily life. So you need to make it a non-negotiable. You build your schedule around your workout. Just go. 
It's only 30 minutes, four to five times a week, easy peasy. Number two is that maybe right now is your busy time. It's the lake time, or you've got a bunch of work things, or you know, like it's kids events, et cetera. Whatever it is, you need to set a goal for right now because we know life isn't going to be like this forever. My kids are in swimming, they're in basketball. I've got my things, the work things, the belly burns, staff, tennis. I've got all these things as well, and I get it. Sometimes there's times where we're just completely overwhelmed. But then there's a lot of times where we're just sitting around and we're like, hmm, what should I do today? And often when you have those times, we often don't do the best things. So for now, when you are super busy and maybe you truly don't have the time, make a realistic goal for yourself. And that could just be doing three workouts. Now, if you wanna make it even better, you can do three workouts and two long walks, right? So if you're spending time with your significant other or you're at the cabin all weekend, et cetera, et cetera, maybe your goal out at the cabin is to get 15,000 steps, right? Maybe your goal at the cabin is to swim, I don't know, 20 laps in the bay or whatever it is that you got out there. But either way, right now, if it's your busy time, set a goal, set a 28 day goal or whatever the length of that busy period is because hockey season does end, so does dance, so does swimming. They all have an end season. They're all off seasons and you have that brief moment of time where you can really focus and go hard on your goals. But for right now, set a basic goal and then stick to it, okay? And last but not least is that you need to tell yourself that this is for you because you can be selfish when it comes to doing something that makes you happy and actually adds positivity into your life. Because you know, and they always say that you can't fill somebody's cup from an empty cup. If your cup is empty, guess what? You're not gonna be able to help anybody else. You're only half giving yourself to everybody else. If you're underrested, if you're feeling complacent and lazy and unhappy with where you are right now, and you know the gym brings that happiness, gives you motivation, gives you that energy, that spark that you need in order to fulfill everything else that's demanded in, the, in this world from you, then you need to tell yourself that I'm doing this for me because I know it's gonna give my best for you. So there we have it, guys. We know what we shouldn't do and we know what we should do. So now that you've actually watched this video, you're probably a go-getter, so I'm probably preaching to the choir. But what I would like to see is now that you've got your routine established, and maybe I am helping you, but maybe you're already doing this, but now that I've got you established, what you need to do is reach out to somebody that you know that maybe you haven't seen at the gym in a while, or maybe there's that significant other that just needs that little bit of a push, or maybe there's that friend that you can just reach out and say, hey, let's revisit this. Or maybe you can do a post of where you're at and provide some motivation to those others. Because my goal for you is to become an inspirational fitness leader, just like myself. Because if they're all, we're all motivated, we're all inspirational, then we're just gonna live this great life. We're gonna create happiness for one another and it's gonna be a nonstop energy. We're gonna really and truly get 1% better every single day.